We are in absolutely dreadful form. Um, we've got two games left at the end of the season. And there's still a chance we're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, we need two big performances now to ensure that we're in the playoffs. And then we need to recover massively. Roll that intro. Hello and welcome to part 45 of the Road to Glory Save here on Football Manager 22. My name's Russ and currently today we have the final two games of the season, away to Harrogate and home to Swindon. As I said in the intro, we haven't been playing great. Um, you last saw the Chelsea game where we lost 1-0, we then lost 2-1 to Bolton. We drew with Carlisle, drew with Eastley, we beat, managed to beat Stockport on the road but lost to Accrington Stanley. That leaves us in 6th place in the league on 69 points. We're one point ahead of Ebb's Fleet and two points ahead of Warsaw. There's also a slim chance that Fleetwood and Exeter could catch us. Um, so we definitely need a victory in at least one of these games and pick up a draw. Let's go to the team selection then for the Harrogate game. We're going with Bettinelli in goal, a back three of Kenner, Simu and Brian Y. Linton and Judd in the wing back positions. Hazeman, Carroll and Hottie in midfield. And Young and Oco Flex up front. There is another little bit of news uh, to bring to you. Ro McDonald is now leaving. Um, we weren't giving him the game time he wanted. Northampton come in with uh, 50k, so we thought, yeah, let's let him go. I'm not going to stop any players from leaving us. He wants to, he wants to find that game time, then uh, he's more than welcome to go and find it at another club. First highlight of this game is a free kick for Harrogate. They're playing it into their midfield, trying out on the right-hand side. Going back into their defence, back to their goalkeeper. We need to press a little bit more here, try and win the ball back as he try up on the right hand side. Not managed to get this ball, he's worked it into the center. Got loads of space. Someone needs to put a challenge in here. They're, um, I found loads of space in behind our defense. I managed to get it clear. A double block there, and Judd's with the ball, and the highlight does end. Last five minutes and a half, it's just the one um, highlight so far. Stat-wise, it looks like we have been the better team. We've had, um, well, we've got equal goal shots on target now. Half time at nil nil. Try to adjust some things, I think, see if we can uh, get a shot out of the guys. So no changes at half time. We have done a little bit of tactic tinkering there. See if we can uh, get the ball a little bit further forward. Put a little bit more pressure on them. Bit a little bit of urgency within our players. A little bit of um, a little bit of higher tempo as well. Got the ball here in our defence with Kenner. Into Carroll. Tries to find Hazeman, but he's lost the ball. We've got him behind our defence. And we get the crossbar. And we've managed to get it clear. Another lucky break for us. Couple of substitutions. Edwin Cousins comes on. And so does DJ Compton Sturridge. Jocko Flex and Simu have made way for those two players. I think this is Cousins' first start for us as well. I see first start. His first appearance for us. Final substitution of the game is a debut for Butler. He comes on for... Who did he come on for? Uh, Bobby Carroll in the midfield. For six minutes left of this game, we need to we need to get a goal. If we can get a goal here, we confirm our uh, place in the playoffs. Three minutes of time added on. Got a throw in here with Judd into Compton Sturridge. Back to Judd. Tries to find Compton Sturridge again, but he can't. It's uh, the ball's been won back by Harrogate. We've got this ball with Butler into Hazeman. Young's now on the ball. It's a bit of space in front of Linton. He finds the cross to Hottie and he heads over. Ah, oh, there's opportunity to win the game there and secure the playoff spot. Harrogate have booted the ball out for a throw in. I think that's the only place he could have put the ball to be honest. Job with the throw in into Butler. Back to Judd. Hazeman. We've lost the ball again. So the ref's going to blow. He does. Nil nil. We still um we're still in the playoff positions, but it's it's definitely not secure for us. Let's move on to the next game, see if we can get the playoff spot. So the team then for the final game of the season sees Bettinelli in goal, a back three of Kenner, Simu and McDonald, Linton and Judd in the wing back positions, Hazeman, Hottie and Kirby in midfield, with Young and Oco Flex up front. We need a uh, we need a victory in this game. I don't want to be relying on other results. Got a decent turnout for this game as well. 5,285 fans in the stadium. At the moment, Fleetwood are ahead of us. We're in seventh space. Um, 
we look at the results of well, fixtures so far, it's nil nil everywhere except for the absolute game. Uh, we've got a free kick here with Simu. He finds Ocoflex. And Ocoflex does put us 1 0 up. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's eased a lot of pressure on us now, if I'm totally honest. We are um, back up into sixth spot. And uh, definitely having that playoff spot now. Come on, boys, let's uh, keep this going. Uh, goal kick with Bettinelli into McDonald. Launches it forward trying to find Oco Flex, but can't. It's into the midfield of uh, Swindon now. Bettinelli's picked up the loose ball. Can we launch another attack and get a second goal? Um, definitely make things a lot, comp uh, a lot more easier for us. Linton's charging up that left hand side. Finds Young. Back to Linton. Can you put the ball in the box? He does. And Young. Oh, he's missed it, but Kirby's managed to get hold of it. And it is 2 0 now. 27 minutes gone, 2 0 to Dulwich. We need this, don't we? Come on, boys. Let's get some confidence going before we go into the playoffs. Swindon want to win this anyway, so they don't get uh, relegated to non league football. Free kick, Hottie into Simu. He goes back to Kirby. It's a bit of space out on this right hand side for Judd to uh, run into. Puts it to the edge of the box to Hottie, and he's made it 3 0. Oh, we've been playing dreadful recently, but this is some of the best football I think we've ever played. Come on, boys. Approaching half time now, two minutes of time added on. We've definitely took control of this game and took control of the playoff spot. It is 3-0 uh, at, uh, at half time. First sight of the second half is a Swindon corner. And we've managed to get this ball clear. It's only as far as their right hand side. He's put the ball right away across. Bettinelli's uh, picked up that ball there. Looks like he's going to launch a counter attack here as well. Or uh, try and get an attack on. Into McDonald. Back to Bettinelli. We've lost the ball out there. Bettinelli, straight to Bettinelli, good save. So a couple of substitutions on the hour mark. Bandera's come on for Hazeman and Compton Sturridge has come on for the uh, young up front. Probably going to give Holland a run out as well, give him his last game. Linton's got a throw in here. He's, uh, Holland is retiring at the end of the season. He's into Hottie, Kenner. Back to Hottie. Uh, Compton Sturridge has got in behind the defence. He's made it four. That's his 15th goal of the season as well. He's not been scoring as many, but... Um, that one there counts. 4-0 to Dulwich now. McDonald's on the ball. Goes back to Bettinelli. It's a big kick forward trying to find Oco Flex and he does. Ah, straight at the goalkeeper. Could have made it 5 there. He probably should have made it 5 as well. He's a good player. McDonald with the corner. That's been clear but only as far as Kirby. Out to Kenner. Can you find a cross? He doesn't. He goes back to Linton. He runs into the space on the left-hand side. He puts the cross in. Knocko flex and it's gone over. Swindon's got the ball on the left-hand side here. We're making a substitution. We're bringing um, Holland on for his last game. Bandera's got the ball. He's trying to find someone on that right-hand side. But there's just no one there. Swindon pick up the loose ball. Um, they're offside, maybe? Yeah, it must have been. That substitution does go through now. Ten minutes to go in this game. Soon about ten shots on target. Looks like they're going to get relegated anyway. We occupy the playoff position with Warsaw and oh, Compton Sturridge had a blazing attempt there. Goalkeeper's pushed it over. Kirby with the corner. Swindon have got it clear. It's only as far as Holland. And the highlight does end there. Cut to the last couple of minutes of the game. It's been a decent performance for us. Considering how dreadful we have been playing, gives us a little bit of confidence going into the playoffs as well. Last minute of this game. And it does end 4 0. We do get that playoff spot, which is uh, which is what we wanted. Well done, boys. Well, there we have it. We have finished sixth in the league. It's a, a, push, a position higher than we finished last year as well. So we're going to be playing Cheltenham in the first, well, the semi finals of the playoffs. So hopefully the. Uh, Next episode will be a three game episode. So you guys have enjoyed that. Big thumbs up on the video for me. Comment down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey. And as always, thank you very much for watching.